So hello everybody and welcome back to the Grantham Town Football Manager 24 save. We are about, well we're in pre-season of season 2 currently and um, as you can see we've not got a lot. We've got a little bit of a financial boost at the end of last season. Somewhere in my email list. We'll go and find it if you didn't see it. Um, there's a lot of a lot of time has gone. Um, I probably can't find it. Uh, it's probably not there. But basically, the board um, gave me some extra money. I have got a screenshot of it somewhere, so I can sling that into the video for the YouTube audience who will be watching this as a, like, VOD separate upload thing. But yeah, we got a big injection of cash from the board at the end of the last season, which is nice. Um, unfortunately, I've pretty much already maxed out our wage budget. Oh, no, we haven't, actually. We haven't spent the wage budget. Oh, that's nice. Um, so uh, there's room. There's potential room. I have got a couple of players currently on trial. So, <laughs> we're just going to go forward. We're going to go through pre-season and figure things out. Obviously, I've spent a lot of time in the last week or so playing the fm23 save i haven't touched this save since i think before christmas so i'm a little bit out of practice i was hoping that some of the the players on the fringes of the squad guys like sam tesla would take contracts and move elsewhere um has agreed to join wigan oh dear Well, that's one play we're not getting then. Arsh, Sell, Macintosh. Yeah, that's the problem, trying to attract good young players. Who's he? 19 year old centre back. Does he want to come and play for us? The obvious answer to that is uh, yes, he does. No, I want you for three years, mate. And that's got to be the minimum. Because otherwise we're going to sell you. Or we would hope to sell you. Um... Yeah, scouting centre. Uh, he's played for Salford, Oldershot, Chesterfield, Southport. Woke. So, yeah, he's a good player. No, I mean, he's played for a lot. Oh, no, that's interested clubs, isn't it? So, yeah. These are the players, clubs that are making bids and offers for him. And you've got clubs like Barnet, Cambridge, MK Dons. And you've got League One and League Two teams sniffing around, making offers for him. Um. We're not going to be able to compete with that. We're not. We're not going to get a player like that. Um, what have we got? Uh, uh, no, 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 We're going to go 30 as the maximum age. 30 is the maximum age limit on players. Um... Defender, wing back, attacking midfield, FC. See, Sam Collins, nice player. 
Mm. Contracted to Dagenham and Redbridge. So that means, yeah, when they're at clubs, that's a lot harder. Because I'm not paying transfer fees. Or won't be paying transfer fees. Uh, for players. Now this guy's played for Wigan. Full City. He's been at Altrincham. He's been at Macclesfield. He had 66 games for Macclesfield. Between 2021-23. And he's now at Chesterfield. Or he was at Chesterfield for a season. Didn't get much game time. Uh, This is going to show everybody that's available in the in everybody that we've got information on. <laughs> uh, and we'll just narrow it down a little bit further, shall we? Um, And a right defensive midfield. See, those are the types of players I want. Players who are versatile, playing a couple of positions. If we're bringing people in, at the same time, I would like players that potentially we can use for a season or two, and then offload, and hopefully make a bit of money on. Right. <clears throat> Training in review. See, training at this level is poor. We don't have very good facilities. And even worse than facilities. Oh no! Court! Hello! Oh no, Court! Welcome into the stream today. Welcome into the chat. How are you doing? Good afternoon to you, sir. The overall trial offer for Hammond. Ah, oh, so they're going to make uh, trial offers. Uh, but we've offered him an actual contract, playing contract, so. Oh, he's already signed. He's signed for Stevenage. That's bad. Uh, mm, my squad doesn't look like it's going to change massively from last season then, does it? Um. Why are you unhappy? Yeah, you've, you, it's because you've had your playing time changed. But you're not good enough for the playing time that you were asking for. That's why it's been changed. Also, I can rotate my squad. Without fear of players complaining about playing time. Uh... Well, I'll hold talks in the near future, but not right now. So we've got to get to Biggles Wade. Biggles Wade will be nice, friendly. Eli Christie, please, somebody, take that guy off my hands. You know, some of these fringe players, free up the wage budget for me, and then um, we can go and get some new players in. There's a 21 year old midfielder, Jamie Andrews, midfielder, midfield, attacking midfield centre. I'm currently available and would like to be considered as a potential signing. I consider my best role to be as a Mazala, although I can also operate as an advanced playmaker. I would be one of the better players in the first team, would you? Well, if that's the case, come and have a four week trial and I'll have a look at you and see if you live up to that. Uh, who else have we got on the list of potentials? Ethan Hull. I'm currently available. 
and would like to be considered as a potential signing. I consider my best role to be as a winger, although I can also operate as an inverted winger. I would be one of the best players in the first team. Really? Oh, let's bring you in on a trial then. Because at this level, I do not trust, I do not trust the star ratings of our scouts. <laughs> Tommy Nixon. I'm currently available and would like to be considered as a potential signing. I consider my best role to be as a fullback, although I can also operate as a wingback. Really? Defender wingback right. Mm. We'll bring you in. I mean, that's the great thing about pre-season. You can just bring players in on loan, bring them in on trial, have a look at them. See what happens. Dylan Thompson is a 21-year-old centre-back. He's only two, he's only one and a half star rating currently, which is not going to be good enough for a walk-in part. Yeah, he might have three and a half star potential, but he's already 21. Nathan Woodforp. Played for the trialists. Yeah, we'll. Jay Knowles, 23-year-old striker. Would be very doubtful of joining me. Uh, Katia Koyete is an attacking midfielder, right striker, centre. Useful backup. Mm. Oliver Hammond, 21 year old, midfield, attacking midfield, centre. Now, see, that's the type of player we do want. Give him a trial. I mean, if clubs like Chester and that are sniffing around, we're not going to be able to sign him. We need players that, quite frankly, no one is interested in. No, none of the big clubs are already turning the head off, if you know what I mean. Because um, they're not going to join us at our low prestige, our low reputation, at our low league level. So we need players that literally are just desperate to get a contract from somebody. Go play football, <laughs> you know. Player targets and promises updates offer a new contract. Yeah, we will. And Greg's obviously on a... Uh, promised to be given more playing time because he got injured at the end of the last season. Discuss new contract with Bello. Can offer him a new contract in the future. Uh, do we have a... See, that's the problem, see? I would like to... <laughs> Normally, when that happens, you just go to your director of football and say, give that guy a new contract. Negotiate with him, give him a new contract. And, um, you know, jobs are good. And We're not operating with a director of football. So, that is a little bit of an issue <laughs> for me. Um, um, So I have to go and negotiate the contracts and I'm not a very good contract negotiator. I think that's a pretty fair, fair assessment. I tend not to be very good at negotiating contracts. I think I give pay players far too much. He wants to be an important player. Uh, and we're going to remove that. Uh, might drop him down. Regular starter. Okay.
part time. He wants three hundred and seventy five pound a week. I'm going to offer you three hundred. Uh, a clean sheet bonus. Yeah, you can have a bit more uh, clean sheet. That's fine. No. Come on, one more. All right, you can have £350 a week. A lot more than I was paying him last season. Set from £70 to £350. That's quite a pay rise, isn't it? Quite a step up. Coventry have already made a contract offer to that guy that's on trial. So, yeah, we're not going to um, sign him then. All right, let's go and play a friendly. Leon Bello is expecting to be offered a new contract. Okay. There you go. Knocked his wages down a bit. And uh All right. Let's go. Let's go watch some football. Add opposition, opposition instruction. No, we're not going to add any opposition instruction. We need to tell the players, go out there. It's my watch charged now. My watch is charged. Good. No notifications today yet. Let's mute that. Looking for an outlet. Whistle goes. And he has shown him a yellow card. I've got a loose cable somewhere. I wonder why I've got no headphone volume. With a delicate ball. Might get the Spotify opened up and put on. Skips past well his man. And the danger is averted. <laughs> Right in the thick of the action. Meaningless in the end. Played early. Better in terms of possession. Disappointing in the end there. Nicely measured pass. Certainly earned his keep there. Oh, that was a real let off, Peter. I think they can count themselves very lucky. Picked off with relative ease. Clever looking ball. 
tearing defenses apart. Well, I thought they got off lightly there. The odds were stacked against them. Whitted. Cuts it out. And he's forced to go crossfield. No time to dwell on the ball. And it is breathlessly Deathly done. Guy oh, doesn't quite manage to direct that goal with. Another corner coming in. Oh, good ball. Oh, good read. Into the arms of the goalkeeper. Clears it out of harm's way. Oh, you've let that. You lost flight of the ball there, dude. And you know, the keeper knew exactly what was coming, and he still couldn't do anything about it. Kager, you lost. A bit of craft. But. Yes! Fair play to Wilson there. Saw the lob on and had the ability to, to do it. So, finding lovely passes. There's no short option. Found his man. Mighty close. Oh, Surely that he tried. Better. He tried to come back from that one, didn't he? From his mistake. In comes the delivery. Corner. Whipped in. Gift it back. A finish of it's a goal. Shot. Fenton heard. One of the trialists. Pressure on him to get it right and keep his cool. Keep that composure. Superb. Back it comes. Oh, super goal! Very good goal. That gets us back on level terms at half time. Right, let's do some changes. Big Greg. Lewis Norvok. Let's have Muggles. Jordan Ayner. Uh, we need another defender sender. Eli Christie. Kitten Little Bits is here. Hello, Kitten. How are you doing today? Welcome in. You're welcome to lurk. Uh, Samuel Kiger. Uh, do we bring Bello on? I think we bring Bello on. We give Bello a run. Um, we have got Starbuck there. We'll make a few half time subs. Progress is made on the ball. Looking for a runner. Not a lot we need to say about that. Behind here. In a good area. Can take it up. 
just released this. Oh, that is sensational. Goal. Another one of the trialists. That has gone down is it out a wide? treat. Square from here. Glorious. Another one of the trialists delivering big for us today. Made the header simple. And the cut back. Plowed forwards. Go on, kid. Keep going. Looking sharp there. Support is coming. Clears it out of harm's way. <laughs> Support was trying to catch you. The cross delivered temptingly is as far as they're going to go. Well headed away by Greg. There it is. Ethan Hall. Another one of the trialists. You have to have courage and belief in yourself. To go for glory and that like that. is why football drags us in time, time and time again. Beautiful. Oh, super goal. Oh, nice touch. That's beautiful. Takes a look up. Cuts it out. Tries to chip through. Clears it out of harm's way. With a long pass. That's a good goal. Offside, but nice attempt. And he's there to clear it. Looking for a runner. Searching crossfield Happy to work their way up the pitch. Tried one! And the keeper's relieved to see that disappear wide. Right, we'll make a few changes in a second. Right, that's it. We've changed all 11 outfield players. <laughs> Aimed in towards the centre. That'll be a throw in. Out it comes. Come on, Darnell. Too close to the goalkeeper who wraps it up. Looking to loft it up and, and over. that's been well dealt with. Well claimed. Well claimed by the keeper there. 
full time. Right, I think I'm going to maybe, in much the same way as I have been doing in my FM23 save, start looking at maybe playing with the individual roles in my tactics somewhat. Um, because some positions just don't really do a lot, or some players are struggling in certain positions. For example, Darnell Mintus up front for me is just not working in that advance. In, a, in an advance forward role, our players just are not doing much for us. Um, so potentially, we're going to go for that. Um... So we almost need to keep that. Rather than as an inside forward, we need to keep that as a winger on support. So we've got those two. No, we take work, 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 work off. So this is where we need to start thinking. Oh, yeah, let's also, whilst we're in tactics, uh, actually look at the individual player roles and instructions.
run wide with the ball. That's the inverted fallback, isn't it? And we don't really need to change him. Whole position, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. So we've just added a few little instru player instructions and tweaks. Hopefully that's going to get things working. Uh, if you wish to make any change, your pitch is 105 metres long and 68 metres wide. And a direct style quick forwards will be in behind high defensive line. Short and wide. Uh, no, let's stick. Stick with what we've got. Stick with our current pitch sizes. I'm not going to get Richard to change them anytime soon. <laughs> we don't want Richard having to do any more work than he already does. Bello has a new contract. He's happy with his new contract. We've got loads of uh, away fixtures. So let's have a look then at some of these players. Like he's under a contract offer. From Coventry. Mm. And Coventry have signed him, so it was pointless me offering him a contract anyway. Okay. Jaden Redmond, offensive midfielder, midfield attacking. Uh, we'll put in a bid for him, take him on trial. Kamani Ryan is a winger. Joseph Jose. Also a winger. Hope that doesn't backfire on me, saying to the media, yeah, we're going to sign this player because he's amazing. And then he goes and joins somebody else.
Curzon Ashton? Squad number time. He wants number 10. Who has got number 10? Ben Guy. Well, Wilson isn't going to get it as a defensive midfielder, is he? Um... Oh, Ryan Hammond's a goalkeeper, so he should be number one. We'll submit some numbers. They're not probably the numbers I would like to have submitted. But they're there. Let's go. Standard four four two. Oh, Mason Lee. Shep Shed have got Mason Lee playing for him. Former Grantham Town player, Mason Lee. Oh, that doesn't come back to haunt us today. Be shameful if he scored against us, wouldn't it? Got in for inspiration here. There he is. Absolutely focused tackle there. Out for a throw. Laid down the flank. Those steaming for influential passing. It's in! 
it's in the back of the net. That's not just about the right Lovely movement there. Is still going. So off he goes. Great quality on that. Ben Guy set that up brilliantly. Cut out, no margin for error there at all. Hang on to the ball here. Kiger. Nice and neat. And go again now. Plays a clever pass. Terrific run. Oh, outstanding save. Okay. Outstanding save from the young goalkeeper. Oh, that was a good goal. That was a good goal. We did not work on that. Did not clear that corner at all. We didn't even start. We didn't even move out after the initial blocked attempt. Let's start clearing the lines a little bit quicker, lads. Keep the ball. Over to the left. Longer you sit in your box, the more you invite pressure. There's Big Greg. That is a special goal. Yeah, that's what the game is all about. Excitement and entertainment. What a lovely moment. Playing their way through. Goes for a sweeping cross. Oh, how good is he? Considers his options. Against the crossbar. Out forwards. Zona. Oh, good ball. Come on, somebody get out there and make a tackle. Looking here to take it up a notch. Quick transition, measured pass. Deliver a better ball. Well, it was a nice setup, but not so good beyond that. That was a sitter that they just missed. They just missed that one. Come on, guys. Played back towards. Bit more pressing. Goal. Get a little bit tighter. Pass being made right now. Decent ball. Nice level of intensity in their play. It's a pretty loose pass. Drills one in. And that's been levered clear. Saw this coming. And the attack peters out. He just guided it up the pitch. Poked in across. Fiddles it away. A pure contact. Plowed forwards. Must surely feed off that. Keep possession for now. Stood up well against his Making man. Pass count. Make something happen here. So impressive. Decides to play it that back. One's going in the right place. That carries quite a threat. We've got to stop these long shots. Come on, lads. Place it into the box. Good claim. No margin for error there. Gets it upfield. Bludgeoned forward from behind. Bright approach, isn't it? Played down the flank. Must do something here. 
excellent challenge. Great exchange. Find themselves left. Fire deep towards the back post. Oh, what the can ball. they make of this? Fenton gets his second. Offside though. In the build up. Ah. I'm going to say Hurd was offside there. Having a look. Very little to play. Did well. Looking to run onto it. There's no one to pick out. Done well between them to go cross field. Brilliant! Oliver Hammond. One of the trialists. The goal was really well worked. Look, the game is a constant search for space. So there's two players there. Fenton Hurd and Oliver Hammond who are definitely... Definitely looking like we should be offering contracts to. We should definitely be offering contracts to them too for the coming season because they've played well in these last couple of friendlies they're scoring goals which is nice we like it when players from outside of the front forwards contribute because if you've got goals in debt in your squad that makes you very very competitive in the league if you can get goals from anywhere if you can score goals from any position on the pitch it makes you a massive threat to clubs and teams when you're just reliant on one output like one striker to get all your goals it does make you a little bit predictable yes! mason lee oh you mason how could you how could you score against your own club your old club mason do you have no loyalty fires it in low still alive it's in Retain possession. Keep hold of the ball. Playing with a certain smoothness. That's a decent ball. Changing the point of attack. Retain possession. Just release this. Good read. Needed to be. He well, came in it. hard, very hard. Has it in a wide position. So and it's played cross field. Over to the left. No unnecessary risks. Just oh! Too much. Raymond, prime one. Buggleton long throw. Oh, nice touch. Mm, That's beautiful. Not really. Goes for the cross. Oh, how's that for a goal? Charles Hagen. Love it when a wide player can come in and get goals. And he's a big man. He's a big man for a wide winger. Very big physical specimen out there on that right wing. Played in deep. Oh, brilliant goal! Yeah, it's nice to get involved a little bit with some of these players. Had a lot of shots on target so far, so I'm happy. Yes. Uh, keep it up, lads. How are we looking in terms of fitness and stuff? Okay, we can keep these lads on a little bit longer. for a quick transition thrust his way through Looking to go deep oh red nice interception 
Referee's given a throw. And it's played cross field. Played through for the white man. He can hold on to it. Referee has just said play on. Plenty of zest Terrific in getting to the run. ball. Out towards the flank. Heave to the back post. A Big Greg. Finish that might have been. No two ways about it. Corner. Oh, it's gone in. It's a Greg Smith hat trick. Fired in. That is delicious. A moment that matters and some. Now, how will things develop from here? Looking to find the extra gear here and look to build on that. Meaningless in the end. Failed to make anything for that. Bright approach, isn't it? He went for the corner. He earned it Ooh. There. That's a corner kick. Could have been dangerous, but it came to nothing. Takes aim and crosses. Super is right behind it. Under the cosh. Oh, that's a fine save. Crossbar comes to the rescue. Right, what we might do. What we might do. At this point. Swap Ben Guy into the target forward position. Bring Mintus on as our poacher. Um, Bit of George Wilson in there. Norvok for Page. Aina for Nixon. Tell them to go out there, hold on to the result. Needed someone to come short there. Oh, it's terribly wayward. Regaining possession, sufficient return. He'll be looking for a time run. Good driving run. Coming in at the back stick. Club clear. He's picked him out. Floated through. Well seen. All eyes on the referee. It's a penalty. And so from the spot. Oh, wonderful. What a goal. Yes, he's done it. Don Elmintus gets a goal.
Great pass. What are his options? Sharp ball movement. Uh, looking comfortable. Cut out. No margin for error there at all. Into some space. Gets in acres of space here. Nicely worked. The defence need to stay in position here. Well played. Battles to win it back. Looking for a quick transition. Sufficient past that. Not devoid of action. Very effective ball here. Had measured where he needed to be. A corner it is then. Steered in. Clinging on to it. Seeking to maximize the moment. Ball swung in. That looks in from here. What is going on with my rolls? Aina, come on. And he's forced to go crossfield. The Muggleton. He spotted the run and played him through. Determined piece of defending. Clouts it into space. He's given away possession cheaply. Credible outlet there. That Terry was impressive. Defenses apart. Hang on to the ball here. Well blocked, Bello. Tries to clear. Well cleared by Muggleton. Getting to that. Just release this. He'll keep this alive. Oh, pull past Bello. Pull into space. Oh, that's nicely done. Has been found. And he's put himself now in position here. You can see his annoyance. Just too thick. Could really have done without that. Expected to deliver. Muggleton, no about, just bludgeoned the way. Starbuck. Not at this point in the match. We're not making that change. Pinged forward. Forced the error to put an end to it. And he's forced to go crossfield. Promptly into the space. Making use of the space out wide. Warner, Brandon. Played in deep. Oh, it's terribly wayward. And he heaves it forward. Picked off with relative ease. Last kick of the game, pretty it's much, I would now. think. It's in. And they scored with it. Well, I'll tell you what, 6-3. Great friendly match for the neutrals. Like <laughs> great game of football for any neutral supporters out there. Plenty of goals for you. Needed to space out wide. Roger heads down the tunnel, swathed in satisfaction. That's it, full time, ladies and gents. Yeah. Cleethorpe's next. 
Right. Uh, squad. Uh, Oliver Hammond. Not making any promises, mate. Oh, you want a bit more money. You're a little bit of a greedy, greedy gannet. That's non-negotiable. He's doing well. He could be good. Give him a little bit more time. Oh, more clubs now come in. So yeah, we're we're not going to sign. We're not going to be able to sign them. Sadly. I mean, I can offer them all the money that we can afford, and they still won't sign for us. If a club from a bigger league, if a club from a bigger league makes an offer, they're going to go to the big league. Ansfield won him. Right, we're making an offer then for him. He uh, doesn't have an agent, so we put your three years. Hey, if you could score a goal for me, mate, I'll give you 500 quid bonus. Drew Baker, 21-year-old centre-back. We'll bring him in on trial. Jilly Buyabu. Has no interest from any clubs. Bring him in on trial. Ian F Isaac Fletcher. Is a midfield centre striker centre. Hmm. Brooklyn Genesini is a wing back.
Isles Judd. Jim Sims. Callum Powell. And Kenny Coker. The striker. We don't really... So we're not really lacking strikers, I'll be honest, at this point. Strikers, I'm okay for. Um, it's just the other squad positions where we want to boost up, back up a bit. And then there's a few players we can release. Oh, Jaden's left us to go to... He took the offer to join Mansfield under-21s. Let's try and save some money. We're not offering lots of bonuses. That Hayden guy played one match for us and then left. Let's go, boys. Sufficient return and look to build on that with a trademark flourish. It's quite a crowd scene in the middle now. Their attempt, just the wrong outcome. Lofted away. Regaining possession. Struck first time. Oh, that was close. In preservation mode. Oh, played through for the wide man. That is very well defended. Got oh, that's another good win of a ball. Very little to play. He's got plenty of space out wide here. Goes back. 
neat exchange. It's found its way to him. To work their way up the pitch. Now, what follows? Stood up well against his man. Sufficient pass that. Nice passing. Good purposeful run. Ron Hagen. Looking to go deep. Time and space says it all. Disappointing really. in the end. There. momentum. Oh, relieves the pressure. They've seen lots of the ball. Keep hold of the ball. Back and from the ball again. No rush to break forward. An adventurous pass. Searching crossfield. It's offering to deliver a ball. Over it comes. Plenty of power on that. With a delicate ball. It's off target and by quite a way. Here's the delivery. Plowed forwards. Well timed. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. Good well, outcome. That's nicely there. done. Low into the middle. Through the crowd, he's got very good distance on his punch. Neatly flicked on. Gone looking Smith cross Brown, Howarth. Simply did enough. Oh, that's nicely Clever done. Pass. Running with the ball. Orchestrating the attack. Hagen. And he's whipped it in low. Keeper got big, big Greg. It away. Big chance, corner. Lofted into the middle. Thinks one forward. They've work still to do. Beautifully timed ball. It's under real pressure there. Incredible outlet there. On Greg. And that's played in low. Offside. Picked him out. Plays it forward. Thought Greg had done a good job there. One in. Guy just got a little bit ahead of the defender. Too early. Again, that will come with time and experience. That will improve. But I was right pleased with the movement there. Didn't come off, but an audacious effort. It is a corner. Good chance. Fired in. And there's Greg. Doing what Greg does best. Heading the ball. If you allow him that time and space, he's capable of scoring from anywhere. And that's tremendous. It into the box, and he's found the net. Right, half time. We have a one goal lead. Keep it up, lads. Let's keep them shots coming. Short of forward momentum. Keen to get going here.
with a good steal, well played. Oh, it's Greg's done it again. Fantastic belief. I mean, they can always come through. Remarkable. He is simply unplayable. They're back in possession and ready to go again. Yes! Just beyond the reaches of the goalkeeper. He just had to ensure he didn't stray offside. The finish was actually bang on too. Nicely worked. Norvok. Third. Oh, well played. Plenty of numbers back. Absolutely focused tackle there. Page, come on. Come on, Fenton. That was mighty close. Mm. Surely that deserved better. Loose pass, that one. Ball swung in. 10 out of 10 for effort. An effort that was at least aesthetically pleasing. Right. Time for some subbies. So let's go Starbuck for Hagen. Denny for Page. Andrews for Hammond. Mafood coming on for Hurd. Uh, Darnell for Bengai. Uh, at the back there, we're going to bring. Um, hello on. Ader on, Muggles on, and we'll switch the goalie for the last 20 minutes as well. Strong standing block. So that's a lot of subs. <laughs> With their corner. Oh, within an inch or two. Good afternoon, Barker. How are you doing? I am doing fantastic, thank you, Barker. Thank you for asking. <clears throat> It's been a bit quiet today. Nice to have you here. <clears throat> Just working through pre-season on the save before the uh, second season begins. <clears throat> so, been having a look at some new, new trialy players and um, <clears throat> trying to sign some new squad players, but very difficult it's been very difficult today looking to go deep <laughs> they deal with that over to the left heave to the back post and they've been given a corner Same database or a new one? It's the same database, same database that I did the, um, I've done all the streams on up till now. We're heading into this, we're heading into season two, obviously. We're now in the Northern Premier League, so we got promoted last season, so there's going to be a, a step up in competition for us. Um, Just about up to meet it. Meaningless in the end. So we need to um, with a find a, a nice way of playing. <clears throat> Pre-season's going well so far in terms of results. However, unfortunately, the players that are getting me those results tend to be play players again. that I'm bringing in on trial. And then every time I've gone to sign a player that's on trial, a big club's come in and snapped him away from me. So, haven't actually added to the squad yet, officially. <laughs> we haven't actually got any new signings yet committed. 
which is a bit of a problem because all these lovely, wonderful players that I keep bringing in on trial that make me look so amazing, they then bugger off five minutes later. As soon as a big club offers them a role in their under 21s or something, they're gone. And it doesn't seem to matter how much money I offer them. They do not. They'd rather be an under 21 at a club in a big league than be a first team player for me at this level. I don't understand it. Why would you trade first team playing time in actual proper competitive football for a role in an under 21 squad? Oh, he's, Hammond's gone to Kidderminster. Fenton's gone to Hartlepool. Fuck. Oh, who would be a manager at this level in real life? You would have to hate yourself so much. I think. That's probably going to draw a bid now from another player. I've just got to, I've just got to sign somebody, you know. <laughs> I just need, I don't care who it is. We just need to sign some players. First first game of the season is literally next match. Not signing a director of football. Right. Follow up actions. We're going to hire you as a defensive coach then. Uh, we're going to hire you as a physio. Get them in, hopefully.
Curzon Ashton have signed Eli Christie. That's good. That's one of the players we've been wanting to get rid of. Can I make a board request? Am I not allowed to go on courses to get my coaching badges? Because I'd like to get a continental license. David Long King is a 29 year old centre back. Came a long way. Hey, how's it going? David Long King. Um, he's 29. He would give us some experience. Uh, he's also quite tall. And you know what my... um. My preferred favouritism is for um, tall players. I like tall players that can head a ball. Yeah, I'm good, Frankie. Came a long way, yeah. Uh, Joe Rose is a goalkeeper who is currently three stars. He's definitely better than our second choice goalkeeper. Uh, although not by much. So we'll skip him did you hear about miami and the aliens i did hear i did see something about that was it aliens in a shopping mall or something but i don't tend to watch a lot of news and things <laughs> crazy stuff only in it's only in america stuff like that happens isn't it you know It's like people it's like people always say America was a good idea but it kind of got out of hand you know <laughs> It was one of those it, it was a nice idea that we had you know when we set it up and we established it the Brits we you know we we, we you know we thought we was doing the right thing but unfortunately it it got quite out of hand <laughs> and it's a lost a lost cause now I think Victor Akinwali is a 19-year-old striker. Oh, I tell you what, kid. There's a reason you're getting major interest. Because you are three and a half star rated. I don't know what actual role you play up front, so I'm going to have to make you a trial offer. But chances are you're going to sign for a big club anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh... Be right back. No worries, Barker. No worries. Just got to keep persevering, trying to bring players in at this point. For the season ahead. Inter, my, Inter Milan's Bastoni signs new contract. It's good. A little bit of income. Making a little bit of money. Obviously, once we start playing football, we'll start making some money. All our friendlies have been away from home, so we've not actually had any pre-season income. We've just been paying player wages for the whole summer and not recouping anything. That's... A strange one. Okay, we missed out on the physio. The physio decided to re-sign with his existing cup. 
but we did bring in the uh, defensive coach. So. Should be good for the season. Uh, the board are delighted with my leadership qualities. Uh, pleased with the level of support from the squad. And they're very pleased with the positive atmosphere in the dressing room. Uh, and the supporters are happy too, which is probably more important. Uh, so Curzon Ashton, first game of the season. Hales Owen and then Boldmere St. Michael's. Oh. That's a pretty strong start for the season, I have to say. All right, let's go do the press conference. Home matches are nice. We want to get off, get off to a good start. Um, I think we'll be there or thereabouts. We're here on merit. No, I'm ending it there. I don't want to be asked about who I want to win the league. Stupid. I'm not putting pressure on myself, and I'm certainly not going to be tipping other teams around me for success, boosting their confidence and ego. Why ask such stupid questions? Board expect us to gain automatic promotion this season. They expect us to reach the FA Cup proper. Don't want much, do you, Sophie? She doesn't want a lot out of me. Right, that's Baker brought in anyway. Um,
It'd be good cover. Obviously, we've got to wait for the coaches and scouts to come up. Oh, what we got there? What we got there? Notification from Money Lady. Thought she might be giving me some more money. Away day plans for the weekend. Um, away day is a little bit of a concern at the minute because they don't have a car. Their their car is very poorly, and unfortunately, it the last time we saw it, it was on the back of a trailer, disappearing into the distance. And we absolutely, we absolutely refuse to become bus wankers. We have agreed we're not going to be bus wankers anymore. So there might be a case that, unfortunately, this weekend we don't go to the game. We don't go. We're going to miss out. What about Nicky in mind for the weekend? Well, did offer, did offer. Mmm, ow, ow, um, subs bench is a little bit, can't use any of the trialist players, they don't trust your driving lol, well I wouldn't have been driving anyway because I don't do driving out of town, so I would have lent them the car and money lady would have driven it. We're out there, make sure we're left in no doubt why. We are favourites for this game. Could be an insurance thing. Well, I'm not insured to drive. So surely anyone's got to be a, bit be a better option behind the wheel than me. In preservation mode. <laughs> Looking lively down that flank. Responsible pass. Showed plenty of zest in getting to the ball. And the ball is out of play. A delicate ball. Sumptuous finish, an absolute joy. 
Why have you done that? Why have you conceded? Why have you conceded a goal? Could have been dangerous, but it came to nothing. So something's got to give here. That is delicious! Yeah, I saw that. I sure saw that they've made a load of people. They've sacked a load of people in their room um, staff. Because I then saw that one of the kick staff members put out a tweet saying people should apply um, to kick. Drilled in low Cloud forward. Disappointing in the end there. That's well played to come out. Thirty five percent of the staff. Well obviously they can afford to do it. Oh, that is sensational. Ensures they make more profit. Never took his eye off the keeper either. And that's been drilled later, guy. What can they make of this? Oh, it really is a finish of the highest order. To be honest, it's best just to shut out all that, all that kind of noise and um, Here it comes. stuff. Looking comfortable. Out just, to the just left it goes. Push to the left. Don't just look beyond your stream. As soon as you start getting dragged out of your own little stream world into the real world, that's when everything goes crap. Terrific run. Crosses into the area. That's why I'm it's effectively trying to mute as uh, mute and block as many people as possible. <laughs> Who make noise in this here. in this world? <laughs> Sufficient past that. Far too much drama, energy. exactly. Doing all they can. Looking to go deep. Good effort. You know, if if, if if everybody, if everybody just focused on their stream and then Locked shut the away. fuck up, it'd be so much better. The world would be so much better. Very the industry fun. would be so much better. Oh, surely that deserved better. You know? Corner it is. Every streamer out there, just 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 do your stream and then shut the fuck up. You know? As soon as you stop streaming, we don't want to hear from you. You know? <laughs> He's pulled off a fine save. Cross delivered temptingly. Just doing what they're good at. Well read. Nice intercept. Played early. Always going over the top. So it's 1-1. One, one. We managed to get an equaliser. The issue is that drama sells. Not to me, it don't. <laughs> Not to me, it don't. All drama does is get you instantly put on my block list on socials. And um, certainly I'll never, ever follow, watch or subscribe or anything to your streams. Pressing is high and relentless. And somehow it stayed out. I mean, it's like yesterday afternoon. I went and watched. I watched a stream yesterday afternoon of a guy here on Kick that I haven't watched for a couple of months because I just got tired of his bullshit. But because he was interviewing the one of the head guys at Kick, I was like, I'm going to watch the stream, see what the Kick guy has to say and everything. But by the end of the interview with the kit guy, I was like, yeah, there's a reason why I don't watch this shit anymore. And that's been leave it clear. <laughs> and it wasn't it wasn't so much the guy doing the interview. A lot of it was the people in the chat. You know? The people in the chat with those green with those green check marks next to the name and 
those people with that, you know, kit contract that were constantly posting stuff, and I just... It's the same garbage all the time, you know? It's so easy for those people to be... to do the rah, 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 rah. Kick's amazing, kick's wonderful. Because they're tech, they, they've had the handout from Kick, they've been cherry picked by Kick, you know, they've been given a contract, they're looked after, and they're, they're doing all right. They're the ones that are winning on the platform, and you know, it's great for them to be here. For the vast majority of streamers like me, Kick ain't so bloody wonderful, because as you always say, Barker, 95% of zero is zero. You know? You know, it's like, you know, I haven't been handpicked for anything. I've not been given a contract. So my life in streaming hasn't been improved one bit in the last 12 months. It's lofted into the middle to link up, clouts it into space, and away from goal, timely intervention. That's the reality of it. <laughs> That's the reality. Keep possession for now. That's my reality. Of real okay. Strength. Better in terms of possession. It's under real pressure there. Well picked out. Make something happen here. Just release this. Has it in a wide position. So what next? Found his man. AV1 encoding and Play Twitch Prime. Well, smoothness. Twitch Prime, well, the all the years I was on Twitch, I never really benefited from Twitch Prime. There was only Mr. Helgi and myself. You know, I gifted myself a sub each month. <laughs> and Mr. Helgi with Twitch Prime. And that's all well and good, but you only get like £2.30 or is it £2.50 from that? That's not a lot. On the front foot at the moment two dollars with regional pricing yeah so hardly worth it plus plus the problem with the problem with twitch barker the problem with twitch as well is they only pay you out they only pay you out once you've reached a set limit a set amount so like for example me last year i had to go on to twitch to gift I had to go and give, had to go and give myself subs on Twitch just to get myself the money that had been sitting there for six months that I was already owed. Just to get them to pay me out my final payment. And you helped by doing a Prime sub as well. So at least that's the one thing with Kick. The one good thing about Kick is if you do earn anything, you get paid that month. Whatever you get paid, whatever you take in a month you get on the final day of the month paid out to you. You don't have to wait till you've accrued X, you know, 500 pounds or a thousand pounds or whatever. If you've earned a dollar at the end of the month, Kit gives you that dollar. That's great. I, I do like that. You know, that's one thing I do like. But again, that's only helpful to the people that are earning and making money. And for the vast majority of streamers here on Kit like me, that at the end of every month, their revenue is zero, means nothing. <laughs> it means nothing. It's like the 95-5 split. Doesn't make one drop of difference to me because I don't get any. I don't get any revenue. I don't get any subs. Don't get any gifted subs, you know?
most of them are edging the lines edging the line of band or not with what they call content exactly and also also in yesterday's stream i asked several i i asked the same question several times in the chat and i was ignored every time because obviously the only people they were taking questions from and talking to were the people with the green check marks and the and the partners if you were just a pleb you were invisible invisible in the stream but the thing i the question i kept asking was all all these all these big streamers that get signed to these contracts right that they give these contracts to these big streamers that they bring to the platform what do they actually do to help and support the other creators on the platform like you know when kit go out and sign an xqc when they go out and sign an amaranth when they go out and sign a tifu you know they expect they throw all that money at those people what do we what does it what do i benefit from that what are those what are those people putting back into the platform that the rest of us benefit from you don't get an answer to that they don't answer that question it damn sure ain't visibility it ain't damn sure ain't viewers <laughs> it ain't it damn sure it ain't an increase in watch time and followers not for us people those people they're the, the viewers that watch them only watch them and then they're gone doesn't convert to platform views partners host other partners not small and, and don't bother exactly exactly and like i say it's been witnessed it's been witnessed at events it's been witnessed at events that partners there are little click there are clicks of partners that are just living in each other's own pockets and they're not involved in the rest of it they're not involved in the rest of the community and that they're not even involved in the rest of their partners <laughs> you know It all depends on what I have to sign. Well, from things that I've heard, things that were obviously said in the stream yesterday, it's the kit partnership, in some respects, is actually got some pretty decent terms. Because there is no, there's no minimum or mandated amount of hours that you need to stream it's not like you sign a contract and then you have to stream for 100 hours or 50 hours or whatever like that it's you know you stream when you can and what you can you know it's the same as like events and stuff you know they obviously did the whole dream hack thing in atlanta last year but nowhere in the contract does it say you have to go to events you know they don't make or force people to do things so that's fine but yeah the the losing your ability to be yourself have your own voice your own opinions um that's not something i would ever want to sign away you know if i don't agree with something i don't agree with it <laughs> and you know 
I know there's a lot of people, like you say, that like to label me as unprofessional currently when it comes to streaming and content creation because of the things I say, because of the things I do and the fact that I'm critical. But that's, that's me. I'm real. I'm a real person with real feelings, real thoughts. And there ain't no company in the world that's ever going to change that and take that away from me. My, my, my attitude is if you don't like the things I'm saying and the things I'm mentioning, you, as an organisation or a company or whatever, should be trying to fix and solve that. <laughs> you know? I made more last month than you do in a year. Yeah, that's the thing. These people, these, yeah, well. But yeah, the biggest the biggest thing for me at the moment is there is so much noise, so much noise around the whole streaming platform industry that for for me it just makes it so unenjoyable. It's making it unenjoyable to be in it, you know. Especially when every time you speak out because you're trying to see change or want change and then you get absolutely piled on by, like you say, partners and stuff who just tell you that you need to work harder. You need to work harder. You need to change your content. And that's, and that, and it's part, and that's coming from people who were hand-picked. Who have only been streaming for five minutes. That as far as I'm concerned. When I watch their streams. Don't make content. You know. And I find it very hard for these people. To, to, to be lectured. And preached at. By those types of people. You know. I've been streaming. I've been live streaming for 14 years at this point. 14 years and the only reason I'm still where I am in the live streaming tier system is because I've never been given a handout I've never been handpicked I've never been cherry picked by anybody that's it that's it We could all be partners if we were given contracts. But not everybody gets given things in this world. And certainly from my whole life, I've never been given anything ever. And I never expect to. 
I never expect to be given to anything because it would break, it would break the trend, you know? You know, the life I'm living in this incarnation, if you want to say, is not meant to be a happy one, not meant to be a good one. It's meant to be an absolute nightmare. So I'm expecting the next one to be a good. I'm paying now so that the next version of me is the better life. See there, there's a good player. There's a good player. A little bit on the small side. Bring him in on a trial. See, look, champ championship, championship teams want this guy. Championship teams want this kid. So the chances of us being able to, if when we offer him a contract, get in him, nil. But, you know, I'll bring him in on trial. That's all I can do is keep bringing players in on trial, offering them a contract and saying, look, we gave you an option. Return the faith. Give us a year. Give us 12 months of your time. You can go wherever you want at the end of that. Just please give me 12 months. And it's trying to convince the players to do that. And that's the hardest part in this game. At this level. You never know. You may find you enjoy it here. At the club, you know. And then at, after 12 months, if we get promoted. You know, we're, 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 we're on the door. We're on the doors then. We're, you know, we're almost conference. We're almost the conf in the conference at that point. We're, we're getting closer. No, I'm not interested in talking about where the league title's going this year. I will definitely be having a break in between bark. I need to go and have some dinner at some point before farming. Um, he may be fairly prone to injury. Ooh. Food before farm. Yeah, food before farming. I had a nice curry last night from tea. Do, 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 do. Kitten Little Bits with the subscription. Thank you for the sub, KLB. Thank you for that. Excellent support there. Thank you, sir. Jamie Andrews. Yes, we want him playing as a midfield centre. Advanced playmaker on support. Have you managed to get your sub button working yet, KLB? You've got your 75. You've got your 75 followers now. You've got to get that sub button connected up. Get your stripe sorted out. You need to set up a bank account that is in your name. There is, oh, that, that helps. That definitely helps. <laughs> definitely helps. If you've got a bank account that you can put the money into. And obviously keep it out of other people's hands. You 
you're going through some domestic stuff and everything is in our name. Okay, yeah. I can, I can understand. Yeah, don't let the other halves have your streaming money, mate. <laughs> Don't let the other halves have access to your streaming, my funds. <laughs> right, we need to give some players a squad number, which is obviously Jamie Andrews. We'll give him number 20. Yeah, but it's my five bucks. Hales Owen. Mm. Yeah, Muggleton's not getting much match time this season, I notice. But yeah, tomorrow night, tomorrow night, I plan to do... Uh, a stream tomorrow evening IRL stream from the club in real life of the um, Thursday night training um, which is something new that we've started doing this year we've decided to bring all the training back to club rather than doing it elsewhere um, the club in real life are opening the doors and gates for free so anybody in the local area that has nothing to do on a Thursday night is welcome to go along and watch the open training sessions. Um, and it's not just our players that attend those training sessions, it turns out. We do get players from other clubs in other areas coming along and using the facilities too. Um, and players who are unattached, who are currently unattached to clubs, come along and uh, participate. Because obviously, it becomes like a bit of an unofficial trial then. Um, for example, for example, the young lad, the young 19-year-old lad that played for us on Saturday at right back, he turned up for the training session last Thursday evening, um, participated. He then went off to another club on Friday and trained with them. Um, ended up coming back to us on Saturday and playing for us in the match. Um, and then we, we signed him after the game. We did. We signed him after the game. Um, so... So, yeah, it's a great opportunity for players that don't have aren't with clubs come along get involved in the Thursday night sessions here you never know we might give you a we might give you a job <laughs> you know come along and impress us and uh, you might get a shirt <laughs> No. No, 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 it was a good deal. Like I say, I, I was, I, like I say, I, when, I was, when I was doing farming on Sunday night, talking to Richard, I was confused because Richard was talking to the player's dad throughout most of the match on Saturday. And I honestly thought he was playing, that they were talking about a player on the opposition team. Didn't realise he, because he's like, oh, he's come back from America. He trained Thursday night. He was at Baseford on Friday. Now he's here playing. And I was like, I assumed they were talking about a lad playing on the opposition team. Didn't realise it was our own player. Until Richard corrected me on Sunday night during our farming. I was like, oh, I had no idea. Did you remove the Greg Smith command? I don't think I have yet, no. Not from Kitbot. I need to go and do that. 
Need to add the new, uh, or change the command. I'll change it to the new player. The number, uh, Ryan. I'll change it to him. I'll change it to the new guy. <laughs> oh, great save. They've got a corner here. Whipped in. Timely intervention. The keeper could have done better. Just wouldn't be beaten there. I can't remember what the command is. I only set it up for that. I only, only, only set it up for that one stream, didn't I? So I'll have to go and check. I don't think I'll, I'll have to go and log into Kickbot. <laughs> Find out what it is. It's offering to deliver a ball. Pressing is high and relentless. And that's played in low. Really didn't have enough to concern the keeper. At half time, good 2 0 lead. How are we doing fitness wise? You players that are looking a little bit leg leggy. Two changes there. Half time. Making use of the space out wide. Going Again, there's me getting all these players in players in on trial, bringing all these like, oh yeah, I want to sign. Need to sign these players. Need to sign these players. I forget. I'm only allowed to have five players on the bench in this level, and I can only use three of those five players during any match. So I don't really want a whole load of people That's a quarter kick. earning money every week, guaranteed that I can't play. He's given away possession cheaply. Um, good I need very, there. I need very little cover. I don't need a lo a lot of cover at this level. Don't need like a player for every position. Or two players for every position because you just can't use them over the course of a season. Under the cosh. That tested the keeper. They've got a corner here. Under the cosh. Decisive action by the goalkeeper. Now, what follows? Very good run. And he's whipped it in low. Cushioned header. A finish right from the top draw. Right from the top draw, Ben Guy comes in. That is simply terrific. Finished with beautiful deftness. Swept in. Excellent challenge. Gets into a good position. Von Hagen. Beautifully timed ball. No, oh, it just wouldn't sit for him. Right, gonna make a change. We are gonna bring on Mintus for Greg. And then we're gonna swap their roles. So Guy's now gonna play as target forward. Mintus is gonna play as our poacher. Uh 
I don't think we can make any other changes. Uh, probably not allow. No. Right, just going to have to go with that then. Some players are looking a little bit gassed because I've obviously, first match of the season, I forgot to make any subs. I was that busy talking and ranting to all you guys in the chat that I completely forgot about making second half substitutions. <laughs> so that's why Baker, Kaiger, Hagen, Mafood are all nearly dead. Found support here. Very good run. Well, that is a good challenge. Good tackle there, Minters. I'm not the manager today. I'm not wearing the dressing gown. How can I be manager? I'm not wearing the dressing gown. And while I don't want to take any I'm even wear I'm, I'm wearing the wrong kit. Well, I'm wearing the wrong shirt anyway. Into the box. So it's not on me. It's not my responsibility. <laughs> Nicely worked. Measured pass. With a delicate ball. Now what we need, we need Hales Owen to get a goal. We do need them to score a goal Good idea. Just because that saves us money. Oh, if Hales Owen well. score, we oh, save money. That's the one thing I pointed out on Saturday at the real football game when um, Bridlington got their penalty in like the last minute and, fi and the game finished 3-1. And I was like, well, that's all right because that saves us money. And everybody was like, huh? I was like, we ain't got to play keep, we ain't got to play clean sheet bonuses to players. We ain't got to give anybody a clean sheet bonus money. So that saves club money. If we can see the goal every match, we save money. <laughs> Obviously, we need to make sure we score more than one goal then. But yeah, as long as we can see the goal, clean sheets, clean sheet bonuses are gone. Off the table. That's it. Heave to the back post. I mean, obviously, with our goalkeeper anyway, the chances of a clean sheet are not very good. Seeing a fair bit of that. Right in the thick of the action. Found his man. Roll forward. He'll be looking for a time run. What can they make of it? You'll be disappointed with that finish. He just guided it up the pitch. Well timed. It is his. Sufficient pass that. Gives in acres of space here. Be beaten there. Searching cross Never field. Pass. Trying to get their passing game going. Keep possession. Better in terms of possession. Saved it. And that's been levered clear. Lovely close control. Uh, looking comfortable, bludgeoned forward, searching crossfield.
Mm -hmm. That was a good win. Well done, lads. We like winning away from home. Always be positive with your players when they win away. Always. Certainly be less harsh on them. Even if you lose or have a bad result away from home, I've figured, I've learned in this game over the years, don't get down on them. Unless you get absolutely marmalized, then obviously you can give them a ticking off. But it's better to maintain a good atmosphere and morale at this level. Yeah, you've got to be positive with any win you get. Especially, like you say, in real life. You know, you've got to be so positive at the weekend because, you know, that was our first point since September. Our first points since September. You know? And it was such a good performance from the opening whistle that it just... It's, it, like I say, it, it just... It just raises questions it raises questions when you see the players perform like that on saturday it raises questions like what the hell's changed why all of a sudden <laughs> why weren't you doing this three months ago you know because now they've proved they can they've shown they can do it and they can do it so why don't they every week? They will be. They will be. As I was saying, Thursday nights now at the club, they're going to be training. Um, and they're going to be training as a team together. So I've just done an, uh, a press conference with a new signing and I managed to piss him off with my answers to the questions. Good. That's what we like. Oh. He's joined Oldham. He's joined Oldham. You get a goal, I'll get it. Tell you what, mate, you get a goal, I'll give you 500 quid. How's that? Might have to make an approach to sign this guy then. We put him on a non-contract. Who are we looking at? Still this guy up front, isn't there? Hmm.
chat has died again on kick. Yeah, kick always dies at this time of night. I might do farming tonight, actually. I might do the farming tonight on um on YouTube. I might do the farming stream on YouTube rather than kick. I don't know about multi-streaming. I don't know about multi-streaming it on both. Um, for the simple reason, that was one of the things that the um, the kit guy did talk about yesterday was multi-streaming. Although you get pings for messages on Steam, yeah. Because um, it doesn't... Um, multi-streaming doesn't pull viewers in to your platform. The platform where you want to consolidate and combine all your audience. All you end up doing is fracturing and splitting your audience in different places. An, exa an, 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 an example he gave on the stream yesterday was he had been in talks with somebody for a contract with Kick to be signed to a contract on Kick. And they were obviously talking about the, fi the financial aspects of it and obviously the payment aspect. And this individual was claiming and demanding money for having 30,000 um, followers. 30,000 followers and wanted paying for 30,000 viewers uh, and that. And the kit guy says, no, I'm not going to pay you for 30,000 viewers because they're not on this platform. You have 2,000 viewers on kick. I will pay you for 2,000 viewers. So that's the problem with multi-streaming. You have your audience spread everywhere. And whilst it looks great for you, the individual platforms are like, well, great. You've got 30,000 people watching you, but most of them are somewhere else. Spending money somewhere else doesn't help us. Boldmere St. Michael's. Be nice to go and play and beat them. Obviously, we played them in real life earlier in the season in the FA Trophy and sadly lost. Um, I'd like to get one over on them. Sucks that we've lost. Um... Where's Mr. Muggleton gone? Gonna have to bring Bello on, I'm afraid. Where's Bello? There's Bello. See, this is where we now need to be thinking, rotating squad. Right, I'm actually going to drop the goalie. I don't normally like doing that because goalies do get injured. But I do need some extra, extra players, possibly. I mean, 
these matches are coming that thick and fast. It's an assault on our um, fitness, this is. We'll make this the last match as well of the stream today. Then that gives me a little bit of time to go and sort out food and prepare for this evening's stream. The farming stream. I can also start uploading this video then to YouTube and putting it on there. Because I obviously didn't multi-stream this. But I think the YouTube fans need to continue to see the, uh, the season progressing. So I'll just chuck it up there as a video that they can either do what they want with. <laughs> Do with it. I won't bother editing it. I'll just upload the raw it's file as it is, all two hours and 40 minutes of it. And then uh, stick a thumbnail on it, and I can release that tomorrow or Friday. Yeah, the farming, the farming I'll do on YouTube tonight. The farming I'll do on YouTube, just because I haven't uploaded any farm sim. A lot we, need to say about uh, we, we don't know how I haven't uploaded any farm sim this week on YouTube so for my YouTube audience my farm sim YouTubers um, I should uh, perhaps do a little bit for them um, I could do it at 1440 um, to space that one's going in the right place. Good driving run. Because what I could do, because obviously I've got the vertical, I've got the vertical thing set up. I could actually use my farm sim profile in OBS that I use when I'm normally recording farm sim. I could set my profile and scene se selection to that, and then use the vertical plugin to stream to YouTube. So you'll get the benefit of 1440. Because obviously the kick profile that I use here and the scene collection that I'm using now, that's only 1080. That's only set to 1080. Everything's formatted. Canvas and everything is 1080. So um, I would have to upscale it for 1440 for YouTube. And I don't really want to upscale 1080. I'd rather stream natively. It's also would mean for the YouTube peoples out there that you wouldn't have all the overlays and stuff on the screen. The screen would be a lot cleaner. Um, you wouldn't have all the distracting stuff on the screen. With their corner. And it is a penalty. It's a penalty. Yeah. Or Grantham with Big Greg. Boy, you can feel the tension. Really well taken goal. An absolute thunderbolt. He is simply unplayable. Yes. Greg's already on two goals, which means he's probably looking to get a hat trick and then get himself sent off. He is. Test. Chat's working again. Test. <laughs> Opt to chip it clear. Test. He's looking to make things happen. Spreads it towards the left. Puts in a low one. Oh, a very decent attempt. No, it's not worth the hassle. It's not worth the hassle at all. So, yeah, Farm Sim stream tonight will be on YouTube only. Tonight? Um. Oh, my word, my word, that is fantastic! Greg's just scored a second from the penalty spot. And that's a hat trick. And Greg's on a booking. So, how long before Greg gets sent off? How long before that second yellow card comes? Go 
Goes for the cross. When it does, you can sack him for leaving in real life, yeah. Sack him for his poor disciplinary record. Sorry, Greg, you had to go because your disciplinary record is atrocious. I don't care if you scored 53 goals for me last season, you got sent off twice. And that's not acceptable. You would have scored 60 goals last season if you hadn't been sent off twice. Incredible outlet there. Tries to get some whip on it. They're playing with more zest. And that is quite and there goes the clean sheet bonus, so we're saving money. We're saving money, folks. That's a great hit, but you've got to question why the defence didn't do a better and job he's than trying to close it down. He's first in new colours. Put the checkbook away. We won't be needing to write any checks today. Yes! Looking out wide, it's a promising ball. And the assistant referee has his flag raised. Right, I do see we need to make a sub. I do see that we do need to make a substitution. Because uh, Hagen's struggling out there a little bit. Make two subs. Make a slight change at the back. Fist it forward. Cushioned header. Good link up play there. <sighs> oh, the keeper's had to be at his best. Yeah, that the confidence we can admire. Hit. The decision making, we can't. He learned from it. Yeah, I don't know why he punched that out for a corner. There was no pressure on him there. He could have just saved that. You know. Right. There's another change I need to make. Unfortunately, for those who do want to see Greg get a red card, it's not going to happen because I'm going to take him off. Because he's got... He's run out of steam. The intended target there. <laughs> Certainly adds to the prospect here. Although there's a chance, there's still a highlight taking place. So there's a chance he could still get red carded during the highlight. And then that substitution doesn't count for anything. And then I have to make another one. <laughs> and look who it is! It just He's lost his mind. No, it's not a goal, mate. Disallowed, look. They've got like three players offside there. <laughs> Take your pick. Any of them. Chance to build on that. And that's been levered clear. It's a pretty loose pass. He has it out wide now. But yeah, all these um, all these technical issues, these technical issues and problems with kick that we keep facing currently in the evenings is one of the reasons why I'm thinking I might go back to doing my streams on kick from sort of like 9am UK time uh, and stream in the mornings on here. 
good play. When the when the website and the servers and everything actually seem to work. <laughs> Looking lively down that flag. Takes aim and crosses into the arms of the goalkeeper. And then my evening content, stick it on the other platform. Especially as my evening content tends to be farm sim, which, like I say, my farm sim audience seem to be on YouTube, so stream where the audience is, as opposed to where the audience ain't. In comes the delivery. Well, we might try doing some streaming on like Twitter or something, you know, because Elon, Elon tweeted out the other day he wants to get into the live streaming market next. So you never know, we might be Twitter live streaming soon. <laughs> Lol, I won't be watching that. Don't have one. <laughs> exactly. All right. Well, we've got another win. We do like winning. Look at all the, look at all the Grantham supporters. Bigging it up, look. Woohoo, look at us. Smith was on form as we secured an easy victory. What did he suffer? Tom Carl, what did he break? Broken toe. Oh, potentially serious injury. Oh, he broke a toe. Oh, wow. Wow. I won't consider that a, a serious injury, you know? Sorry, Iffy, you don't fit in. You don't fit into my plans, Iffy. You, you're really not that good. Right, folks. I did say that was going to be the last match, didn't I, of the stream today? So, we will save it there, pause it there, folks, and um, we'll pick up with this save at another point in the not-too-distant future. For now, though, from the um, lovely, wonderful world of Grantham Town, I thank you all for watching today's video and stream, and I'll catch you all later on. Cheerio for now, everybody.